Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode, kind of a quick episode today. I'm just gonna share a little tip for you guys. And uh, to complete this little tip, all you need is one thing, a wire brush, very easy. Let me show you what we're gonna do. All right guys, you see these battery terminals right here? We got positive and negative. All right, super important that you clean off those terminals and you should be doing this once, at least once a year at the beginning of every season. These tend to get corroded, kind of mucked up, and I've actually seen these full of corrosion, all the wires all jammed up, and you'd be surprised at how many people I've seen at the ramp having boat problems, and it was simply a bad ground because they allowed the corrosion to get horrible. So what you need to do here is you need to disconnect these wires, clean off these terminals with your wire, with your wire bristle brush over here, and get in there and really get all the corrosion, clean everything off, clean all of your contacts and make sure they're sparkling like diamonds and then put it all back together, okay? So let's just quickly clean these out and uh, I'll give you some little tips on what you wanna do, okay? Come on, let's do it. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, the first thing you need to know is that unlike a car, especially on an aluminum boat, the boat is not grounded to the battery, okay? So if you're, for example, touching a car battery and you touch the positive and you touch the car at the same time, any kind of metal parts, you're gonna get tased, okay? So this is because the negative on the car battery is actually grounded to the vehicle, whereas a boat is not, they, they don't do that, especially not on a tin boat, because it actually can cause uh, premature erosion and corrosion on the outside of the boat, the finish of the boat, the motor, uh, where the motor connects the bolts, uh, where your trolling motor is, it can cause a lot of issues. So they're never, never grounded together. So that means you don't have to worry about touching this, this positive post. So if you're a kind of guy who doesn't like working with electricity and batteries, you don't wanna get electrocuted or something, don't worry about it, you can touch this, you can touch this no problem, as long as you don't touch the ground at the same time. So you don't want to touch them at the same time or you're going to get tased. So other than that, you're safe, you're good to go, you can touch the two different terminals separately and you're all good, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is some of those pliers, okay? And you're going to just take off the bolt. All right, now you've got all your wires off and you can see I've got a ton of connectors on here and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of these are clean, okay? So you're gonna take your wire bristle brush and you're just gonna clean everything off like this, okay? Do both sides and get everything nice and shiny. You can see this is shining nice and bright, all the corrosion is off of there. You're gonna to wanna to do this for every single one and make sure that there's nothing on there. Once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and do the terminal post, okay? Go all around it. Get it all cleaned up. And what you can do is if you notice there's a heavy amount of corrosion and you don't want to use the brush, you can actually take a piece of sandpaper, put the sandpaper around the post and clean it off that way. Once you're done, you can go ahead and reattach all your wires and you're good to go. Okay guys, that's it. Told you it was easy. Obviously, just make sure you do this for all the batteries in your boat, all of the connections. You do not need to use any dielectric grease. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting on any on there. You should not have water going into your battery compartment anyway. And it doesn't really do anything except make a huge mess. So do not use dielectric grease. Keep your connections dry, corrosion free and clean at all times, and uh, you should be good to go. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'm gonna be doing a series of battery tricks, electrical tips for your boat. So if you don't mind, please make sure you subscribe for more of this content, comment and like, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video where I'm gonna show you something that I got that costs like 10 bucks and it's gonna save me some headaches when it comes time to doing this kind of cleaning or any kind of work on my battery terminals that has a ton of wires connected to it, okay? So stay tuned, I'm gonna have that on the next episode, all right? I'll see you guys, take it easy. Peace.